2020 has come and gone. This probably was the most challenging year I've got to live yet, if we put 2003 aside. I was challenged in many unexpected ways, ways that I did not see coming at all. But as always, I'm the one in control of how these events affect me or not. It's a constant struggle. I'm fighting with myself on a daily basis, trying to make my heart and my mind be on the same page. Are they ever on the same page? 2020 marks the year I decided to take back the reins of what I desire my life to be, how I want to feel. I found a therapist and she helps me uncover more about who I am than I was capable of doing on my own. I signed up at a local college and went back to school, even though I was very scared because I'm an adult with young adults. I support lovingly both my daughters and do my best to be who they need me to be. I've been a buffer between all the other members of my core family and it took a big toll of, on me, even though I refuse to see it that way. I refuse to see it so my body regularly decides to remind me that I put too much pressure on my own shoulders. It's my fault and I am well aware of that. We're learning at 33 years old that I do not need to be a straight A student to be a good one, that I do not have to fake being happy every hour of every day of every week. That's how Reclaim came to be my soul whisper for 2021. I'm willing to reclaim my body, doing my best to loving the skin I'm in, because there's no other way. Back to training, even though my double tendonitis is still acting up a year and a half later, and it makes it hard to do my weight training, which is what I prefer to do. It also goes hand in hand with reclaiming my nutrition. As you may know, cooking is my first passion. It's what I thought I would be doing for the rest of my life and nutrition and food is still something I love. Finding what works best with my body is still a challenge, but I'm getting there, eventually. I'm also reclaiming my spirituality and make it a priority to practice it more. The Virgo side of me makes me lose myself in theory and research and reading, but then I'm often too scared to mess things up and therefore the potential negative consequences of so that it's test theory and that's not what I want it to be. So I need to remind myself that I can trust my own knowledge more and that it's okay to mess up sometimes. I have no clue what this year is in store for me and I'm bracing myself for challenges as they are unavoidable. But I want my response to them to be less dramatic if that's even possible. My mental health should not define who I am. That's one of my biggest goals right now, to figure out who I truly am, despite my circumstances. 